Good morning, children. Hope you are all doing good. I am Shailaja from Shetvidya Mandir High School and Junior College. Today's subject: English Grammar, Class Seventh, Lesson Fifth. Topic: Punctuation. Let's get started. Punctuation. What is punctuation? It is the art of putting in correct marks or stops in the appropriate places while writing. so that the reader gets the correct meaning of what is written let's see some of the important marks of punctuation in this chapter the capital letter the full stop the comma the exclamation mark the question mark the dash and the hyphen first one the capital letter is used to begin a sentence the capital letter is used for proper nouns the capital letter is used for words like i personal pronoun and those referring to god see the first and second examples mumbai is the capital of maharashtra we are starting with the capital letter first then mumbai and maharashtra are proper nouns i know that god is always there with me i personal pronoun is with capital letter and god g capital letter hope this is clear third one the full stop is used at the end of assertive and imperative sentences okay and after abbreviations and initials first third and fourth examples you have to see here children mr ramo is highly qualified assertive sentence he is btech and mtech so bachelors of technology masters of technology so bachelors full stop and masters full stop and also after mr okay we use the full stop now close the door imperative sentence we are using the full stop at the end of the sentence next the comma to mark off a quotation from the rest of the sentence in direct speech for example cinderella said comma i have lost my slipper so the direct words are separated by a comma said comma i have lost my slipper next the comma is used to separate clauses in a sentence the policeman met the shopkeeper but he wasn't the thief so the policeman met the shopkeeper comma but he wasn't the thief the clauses are separated by a comma next the comma is used to separate words in a list see the example a father sold pens notebooks crayons erasers textbooks so all the things are separated by a comma next to separate noun or names used to address someone from rest of the sentence so we use comma there for example bindu could you pass me the butter please so bindu is a noun or the name we have separated it from rest of the sentence by a comma the exclamation mark is used at the end of an exclamation or interjection or at the end of an exclamatory sentence see the ninth and tenth examples children hooray my school is reopening hooray is the interjection we have put there the exclamatory mark again after the sentence we use the exclamatory mark again tenth one what a beautiful rainbow exclamatory sentence use the exclamatory mark next the question mark is used at the end of a question or at the end of a question tag are you ready for a revision test of our online chapters we asked a question so question mark you are ready for a test aren't you we are using a question tag aren't you use a question mark there next the dash is used after a series of nouns followed by a related idea 13th one children rodents all follow the magician in the lane so they are separated the nouns are separated by a dash next one to separate an idea from another in a sentence we use the dash here in the example 14th if only she had come but it is too late now next the hyphen to connect parts of a compound word i love my father in law father in law is a compound word we have connected with a small dash or hyphen 
Exercise. Rewrite the following sentences using correct punctuation marks in the notebook. Why are we spending so little on our hens? Faraday had a never give up attitude. That will be great how eagerly I wait. I know my English is not strong. Yours is good. Please, will you help me to improve it? As the term progressed, it was abundantly clear to all that Sasha was a bright child. Here, use the punctuation, whatever we have learned, children, and write these sentences in the notebook. Next, revise the topic and complete the exercises in the notebook. So, until our next session, happy learning. Thank you.